Good morning, artists. Today, we're going to travel to the country of Peru, and we are going to look at the 600-year-old city of Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is a plateau that's surrounded by mountains on three sides, and then there is a 1,400-foot drop on the fourth side. Machu Picchu was believed to be maybe a royal estate for an Incan king. And it's a very, very fascinating place as an archaeological wonder. So today we're going to learn how to draw our own civilization in the sky. And we're going to learn about what some of the characteristics are for a civilization. But let's start by doing a little bit of drawing work. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn your paper horizontal. And then you're going to find where the halfway point is on your paper. So I'm just going to guesstimate that it's about right here. And I'm just making a little notch on either side. So I have an idea of where halfway is. Okay. Now I'm going to start right about here with my marker and I'm going to begin to draw the plateau. Okay. See how I'm keeping um, the line kind of wavy because the land would be sort of rugged because you're way up in the mountains. Okay. All right, so I'm going to keep this going right around, keep drawing the plateau, keep making the line kind of wavy because we're up in the mountains again. Like that. Okay, so this is the plateau, and then it has a very steep drop. So I'm going to demonstrate that by putting in some lines coming down like this, okay, to show the steep drop. And everywhere where I have kind of like a point, that's where I make the line coming down. Like that, you see? Okay, and there can even be some here on this side. Okay, maybe there's one over there. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is the plateau, and then surrounding the plateau are very steep mountain peaks. So I'm going to draw those in now with my marker like this and they would have some snow-capped mountains up there in Machu Picchu as well so I can draw the snow caps okay I'll put one over here okay. and then I'm gonna keep the mountains going okay I'm building the mountains up I'm adding more and more as I go and one thing that's really cool about Machu Picchu is that when you're up there the clouds actually come in around you because you're so high up. So I'm also going to sketch in some cloud shapes that are overlapping my mountains. So they're gonna kind of block some parts of the mountain. And I'm gonna draw my clouds using a gray oil pastel because then when I paint them later with watercolors, I'll be able to see their outlines. So I'm just gonna kind of Sketch in some cloud-like shapes. Okay, sort of a wavy line. Okay, and maybe one more there. There. Okay, so I've got my clouds. Now I can keep going on my mountains. Okay, this cloud is partially blocking this mountain. So is this one. mountains. All right. Like that. So now I'm going to start to draw the features of my civilization on my plateau. And when we're talking about civilizations, civilization is a very important vocabulary word. And what a civilization is, is it's a complex society. So it's a way of organizing people and it has five characteristics for um, to be considered a civilization so when we're talking about civilizations it would be uh, the Incan civilization the Mayan civilization civilization the Egyptian civilization so a civilization has advanced cities it has specialized workers such as blacksmiths or soldiers or 
um, craftsmen, you know, pe work, specialized workers are people who have specific jobs within the society. And a third characteristic of a civilization are complex institutions, such as record keeping or institutions of government, healthcare, uh, education.